This is today we're going to talk about uh, how IL-23 receptor signals to, through ROR gamma T to cause um, uh, negative selection of the thymus, and this is an important point. <clears throat> so, it, by it, one thing that's been missing here is the introduction and background. Um, so, what we want to do is we know here's what we know: we don't know anything about IL-23 in the thymus, but we do know ROR gamma T is in the thymus. And what do we know about that? RR, RR gamma T probably interferes with NFAP, and that interferes with transcription and fast lag and, and IL-2, and maybe some other genes. <coughs> but uh, what that does is that also, we, we also know that the RR gamma T upregulates BCLXL. So you can see the situation here. Downregulation of fast lag and that decreases apoptosis. Upregulation of BCLXL, that decreases apoptosis. Not sure about IL-2 downregulation, but these, this is the original um, findings by uh, Yuen Hu. I mean, he, Yuen He, this downregulation. Okay, so that's the background about RR gamma T in the thymus. And then here, then you say the next thing is, well, what about thymus? You know, what about BCL2, uh, which is decreased in double positive and increased in single positive. So double negatives high, down low, and double positives back up and think of positives. BCLXL sort of does the opposite, but, you know, may not be exactly right. Right may not, you know, be stepwise exactly the opposite. MCL1 stays the same. MCL1 is regulated uh, also by RR gamma T. <clears throat> so, in any event, so you see what we're doing. RR gamma T through, uh, through its signaling pathway, what's known. Finally, uh, apito uh, apitosis regulation of thymus. What's missing that I didn't put up here is the, uh, the whole topic, probably it should go first, or, but it's negative selection. What we're looking for is negative selection. And so what we need is, I put it up here somewhere, no, not, not yet. Anyway, negative selection. That's what we're studying. The negative selection is, of course, an apoptosis event in the thymus. So probably start out with what is negative selection in the thymus? And it relates to some molecules. You have to look those up. And then that, that relate, then ROR gamma T has been shown to signal through the thymus. And then you get the thymus apoptosis molecules. And the last part of the introduction <clears throat> is what we found. Now, let me go through what we found. Every one of these has four parts. We found that IL-23 probably causes some level of apoptosis in the thymus. And if you, <clears throat> and if you remove IL-23, you get a defect in negative selection. So that's the key thing. Uh, and that shows up, well, let me go through this one here. One thing, so one thing, just in, in vivo, you can give high doses of IL-23 with an AL-IL-23. High doubles of IL-23 causes the loss of double positive thymocytes on day six. So that's what this is. So that's apoptosis. IL-23 induces apoptosis. All right, what about uh, ROR gamma T? Or no, what about IL-23 receptor? Both these go together, IL-23 receptor and ROR gamma T. <clears throat> well, then you, you show you show our IL-23 receptor by PAX. It goes up, and so they're signaling apoptosis. Um, the, uh, at any rate, and then ROR gamma T goes up. When you give IL-23, signal through IL-23 receptor that's up, and it's upregulated by IL-23, then um, you're going to get high levels of ROR gamma T. Now the question is, and then that causes apoptosis. Now the question that's kind of odd is, it sounds okay, but if the cells are dying and depleted, how is how are the IL-23 receptor positive cells and RR gamma T high cells going up? You know, these should be the apot. So what you got to do is show these are the apoptotic cells. You can show this is up and they're undergoing apoptosis. That's what we need. And the fourth thing, though. Is, so, so you see the three things, um, apoptosis, and then IL-23 receptor, and ROR gamma T, and then finally the mechanism. That you see how that relates back here to the introduction. What's the mechanism of apoptosis? And that's what we don't know. Um, you know, what, what's, what's different about this? Is it BCLXL, you know, uh, BCLXL high or low? So that's unknown. Okay, this is giving IL-23 to the mouse, and IL-23. Problem with that is, of course, AL causes cytokine storm, you know, TNF and IL-6 and so forth, that meant IL-1, and that depletes the thymus. Uh, 
normally it's day two or three, so this is not the right kinetics for that depletion, you know, so uh, we realize that. Uh, but, you know, it's something to consider uh, in cytokine storm. Okay, now I'll go over here to the DBHY max. That's the second example over here. DBHY P19 knockout. That's the most convincing example because <clears throat> in those mice, they don't have P19. They don't have uh, ROR. The ROR gamma T is low. Probably BCL6XL is low. And therefore, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, and then you'd expect low, yeah, low survival. Actually, problem is that what you get is you get high double positives here. Well, you get a negative selection defect. So um, so here's what actually you see is no IL-23, uh, ROR gamma T is down, but then the data shows BCLX is up, you know, so that's it's a problem, right? You know, because there's IL-23, ROR gamma T signals BCL BCLX here. So see, you can't have uh, things that are keep switching back and forth. Finally, um, sort of like an obvious thing to do is manipulate IL-23 in vitro or at least in the thymic organ culture or somehow in some simpler way. See, this is a whole mouse given in the IL-23. Complicated because of the cytokine storm, so you think, well, maybe just give them IL-23 directly. That's what this is, bolus of IL-23. This is a whole mouse, which is, which is a DBHY negative selection model. That's really what it's good for. And that's the first thing we could definitely believe, but now we get into negative selection. Uh, and you can see the complexity here is that, you know, the matching, the results don't match. I mean, how 23 is low, RR gamma T is low. But now, you know, so, so how, what's going on here? So RR gamma T in this model must be mediating negative selection. So what's it driving to, that's killing them? It's not BCLXL, but, you know, so you've got to figure that out. Now, poor thing, okay, but another thing, the other way to look at it is, the third system is in vitro IL-23. Just take your cells and incubate them with IL-23. And uh, does it increase IL-23 receptor on uh, thymocytes? Does that lead to higher ROR gamma T? And then what does that do to apoptosis and BCLXL? I should say apoptosis is first. IL-23 receptor and ROR gamma T, you know, together. And finally, whatever apoptosis molecules are. We talked about things such as given high levels of IL-23, so we get rid of the ad, but you know, we tried that once, we can't quite get high levels of IL-23. We talked about organ cultures, you know, and giving, and just pick, taking a thym uh, thymus organ culture and then adding IL-23 to it, and then you've got the whole organ. That, that's probably will work. Also, um, a thymus under the kidney capsule of a mouse might work. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't really get you anywhere too far because you're still gonna give IL-23, that, that was the limiting, the limiting problem is IL-23, having sufficient amounts of that. Um, kinetics is good, you know, we talked about kinetics, maybe doing the same experiment, looking more carefully at kinetics early and late, and, uh, you know, to see if, you know, really the cells that are dying or this is really killing the cells, you know, they're high, R, high IL-23 or high RR gamma T, that's somehow really killing the cells. But, um, or is it rescued cells? Is it a subpopulation? That's where we talked about the R, R gamma T plus minus unit that has a GFP reporter. But, you know, that's apparently a weak reporter. So, anyway, to summarize, here's the introduction. You see from the introduction the, what you're up against. You talked about negative selection. We didn't talk much. Negative selection, the thymus R gamma T signaling. What does that do? What's, what's it known to do? Then thymocyte survival. Probably that goes with negative selection, you know. So you set the stage for whatever result you're showing. And the results are always, in different systems, always going to be four things. First, apoptosis. Second and third is IL-23R, IL-23R signaling, and RRR gamma T. See, so that's all together. That's a, really a second unit of sort of data. And finally, the mechanism. You know, what is the apoptosis molecule or uh, negative selection molecule that's being modified by IL-23R?